It's uh, it's four ten in the morning, way too early o'clock, and uh, I'm off to the airport. Let's go. So I messed up and I forgot to take my belt off at airport security and um, I still didn't beep. <laughs> still have never beeped at airport security and I'm exhausted, so tired and on my way towards New York City for the first stop of this multi-legged journey. I'm in LA, and, no I'm not, I'm in New York, I'm in New York now. Uh, it was a really good flight. I kind of been giving airlines trouble recently, especially uh, yeah, that Air Italia flight a couple months ago, but credit is due where credit is deserved. And uh, yeah, that was fantastic. That's the first time I've ever flown Alaska Airlines and it was unbelievable. It was so good, such a comfortable flight. Now I have a night here in LA, but I mean New York, but I need to sleep. I need to get work caught up on. So I'll continue this on in the morning as we make our way towards where we're going. I'm back at the airport and ready for my flight to, I go to Istanbul, but only for a quick change on my way to Rotterdam. But I need to talk about something because I'm super excited. Last night, I went to bed really early, got up at four to try to get kind of acclimatized to European time zone. And this morning, I started editing at four in the morning, the videos. And by the time it was 9.30 in the morning, I'd edited three vlogs, edited and exported, which is crazy. It usually takes me like three hours, but I think it all comes down to the fact that this combo of the Dell XPS 15 and that SanDisk SSD just makes everything so, so fast. And it's just blown my mind and made my life so much easier. There's no rendering time anymore. It doesn't take an hour to render the files. I don't need to do that because everything's fast enough. And then the export time only takes like seven minutes for a 14 minute vlog. On my old laptop, on the old setup, it took like an hour, an hour and a bit. So it's just such a massive time saving. It saved me like basically like an hour and a half per video which is insane so yeah I'm super stoked about that I think that means I can sleep like an extra hour a night <laughs> just crazy anyways um, yeah it's time to catch this flight to Istanbul I made it to Istanbul and uh, I think I have like an hour until my next flight, but I didn't sleep a minute on that one. So I'm tired and I guess next stop, Amsterdam. So I made it to Amsterdam and I'm in this weird state where I'm not sure if I'm tired or wide awake, but I didn't sleep at all on that flight either. So yeah, I, I'm definitely, definitely gonna get hammered by the jet lag, but um, I'm heading to Rotterdam now. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I'm not back. I'm here in Rotterdam. So a, uh, a time jump, I think, is the best way to describe what just happened. I lied to you guys. I said that I was going to be filming in Rotterdam or the Netherlands, and I got there, 
and then we had this conference and there just wasn't time or there was time but I would have been exhausted filming and conferencing and doing stuff like that and I was feeling burnt out actually it's kind of a funny story I got to Rotterdam I sat down and I tried to stay awake as long as I possibly could and then eventually I just needed to take a two-hour nap so I napped from like 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then that night I went to bed at like 10 p.m. And then I slept all the way till 10 in the morning, so 14 hours. And then I was still tired when I woke up. So at noon, I went back to sleep for like three more hours. I slept 15 hours over a 24 hour period. That's how tired, that's how burnt out I was. Route 66 took a lot out of me, especially going back to back to back Japan, um, Patagonia, Route 66. It just, it wore me out. And to be honest, I think at the start of Route 66, I was worn out in a bad way. But by the end of Route 66, I was worn out in a good way in that I think that just being totally exhausted really opened up my creative juices. I felt like I felt like I was a better photographer at the end of Route 66. And it might be just part of this progress that I talked about in Patagonia. Um, in Patagonia, I felt kind of like a technician going out and shooting photos uh, where there was like almost like a formula I was filling out to get the cool photos whereas in uh, in Route 66 along Route 66 I felt like a photographer again I felt like I was really I felt like I was really creating and I feel, felt like I was designing photos and I felt like I was making photographs rather than just walking up and shooting stuff so I'm really really happy with my photos from Route 66 I feel like Route 66 is hard as a photographer and I think I came away with more photos I like from Route 66 than I did from Patagonia considering they're the same time and Patagonia is epic and Route 66 is six Route 66 is really cool but not the same epicness I think that's incredible and I'm really happy with that so I'm happy with the, how that happened now let's talk about like R Rotterdam <laughs> Rotterdam is amazing um, it's just such a cool city. I wish I could have filmed it, but you can go back to last year's videos at Rotterdam to see what it's like there if you want. I need to apologize to my Dutch followers. The Netherlands is one of my favorite places to visit. It's my fatherland. It's the land of my father. Uh, my dad spoke only Dutch until he was like five or six. So it's cool to be back there to this country that, you know, it's my fatherland. It's where my grandfather grew up. It's where my grandmother grew up. It's where my dad, his language, came, his first language came from. And I feel really, really strong ties to the Netherlands still to this day. So I, I feel bad that I couldn't vlog it and I couldn't film it and I couldn't share that with you guys. But I think that there's times I just need to focus on life and there's times I need to focus on business and there's times I need to focus on just getting my health back and getting back to being not burnt out for a change. So um, that's what Rotterdam ended up being and it, it was really good. It was amazing and um, now I feel totally refreshed and re-energized and ready to go out shooting and exploring again. So here we are in Porto, in Portugal, time jumping ahead. And I know that's weird, especially if you guys are used to seeing me film every day. The cameras are, were away for a full five days, that never happened. But I, I do feel refreshed, I do feel, I do feel ready to create, and I do feel inspired to create again. And Portugal is one of my favorite countries to photograph, it's one of my favorite countries to create in. In fact, the vlog really started taking off uh, almost two years ago when I was in Portugal. In fact, I started this vlog almost exactly two years ago. This is in so many ways the two year vlog anniversary, And that it's crazy to be back in Portugal without even realizing it. This is where it all started like two years ago in June. And um, yeah, it's cool to be exploring. I'm exploring a new part of Portugal. Um, Jody's here, as I mentioned. She's just behind the glass on the other side there. And so she'll probably come out on a couple shoots with me. I'll probably go on my own to a couple shoots. I'll probably f shoot like four or five locations here in Portugal. Um, only in the north. I've spent most of my time in Portugal in the south, and I'm really excited to spend time in the north now. So um, I guess that's what's happening, and I feel like I'm rambling and all over the place. Um, that's probably just because I'm so excited that this plane is trying to ruin my take. Um, I'm just so excited. I feel like I, I feel like I'm in a really good place with this channel and with my personal life, and just I feel great. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I'm so so excited for the next bunch of weeks. Portugal, as I mentioned, Ireland, Faroe Islands. It's gonna be fun. So um, stay tuned to the channel. I'm back to real time. 
which means that back in the day when I started vlogging, when I started this channel, I would vlog like Sunday and then the video would go online on Monday. Right now I'm almost back to that, so it's Tuesday today and this video will be online on Wednesday. I'm also taking Fridays off now, so there's not gonna be vlogs on Friday, which might mean that I do start to fall back behind a little bit, but it's cool to be back in real time, and um, yeah, I don't know, I'm rambling. And I know that you guys probably are, you've stopped watching, so it doesn't even matter, I can keep talking forever. But I need to ramble sometimes to let you guys know what's going on. So, a lot of talking lately, we're gonna get into photography starting tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys there. Peace.